Hello Abs here, welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today we are going to do the next Archon quest. It's really, really cool. We we're going to be catching up with our boy Zhong Li, our Geo Daddy. <laughs> it's going to be good. We're in Li Wei and we're going to go see that. Look up there, that's the Jade Chamber. That's pretty high up. Uh, question is, Paimon, how are we going to get to there? But you're a fairy. We can just go, woo. You know, like Peter Pan does. We can do that. You're only realizing that now. We should have asked the emissary, Ganyu. Uh, yes. Well, since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Well, there's got to be a portal. Or there's got to be somewhere we can fly off like an eagle. I can spread my wings. Oh, hello. There's loot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, sweet flower. I need this. Where is it? Where is it? I need this. Oh, chat. I, I know. I sort of need that. <laughs> What's that gonna do? Hey, look! There's some sort of mechanism thingy. Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. That looks like a trap. I'm not no trusting way. that. Hey, just trust by man's instinct. Okay, you go first then. I, I push you into the leaf thing. Off you go. Here we go. Uh, blow. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, no way. <laughs> I can be a hero, baby. Let me come down. Let me grab that. What? Oh, no, 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 no. First try. Huh? It only takes us up to here. Aw, if that wind current was stronger, we'd be able to reach the top in one go. Best we go back to Li Wei and ask the Millilith. Huh? Why? The way up shouldn't be a secret or. Or? Oh, Paimon gets it. If it was a secret, Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? What about the chest beside right. us? Let's follow your plan. Then we can. Oh, hang on a moment. Look down there. No, grab the Looks stone. Like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista. Hmm. Uh, Paimon has a new idea. What, we're gonna shoot the ballista? You up to the Jade Chamber no way. The ballista. <laughs> no way. Do you really hate me that much? Uh, no. Paimon may have just forgotten to think about the safety measures. That'd be pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Like, Superman in through the air, kind of holding on to the ballista, like, arrow while flying through the air. Oh, I'm down for that. Still, I do remember that ballista had a oh, scope. Oh, that's right. Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's another way up nearby. Hell yeah. I don't mind just being shot over that. Let me grab this stoic, I suppose. I hope the others find some. I've been robbed. Yeah, I was about to say, two Primo gems, I've been robbed. <laughs> Head over to the Ballista. Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Uh, no one. No, we're just passing by. I just want to be shot with that ballista. We're just passing exactly. by. Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? No. Wait. Maybe this was Ningwan's plan all along. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a Melolith ambush here to arrest us. I I'm quite sure that's not the case, Paimon. Uh, uh. <laughs> You! Over there! This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless! What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? Yeah, shameless. You shouldn't what be guarding nonsense. stuff. Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, no, 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 no. You don't well, have to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Here they whoa. come! Line them up and knock them down! <sighs> Why does it always have to result to violence? Well... Oh, hello. <laughs> whoa, here we go. Let's begin this adventure, shall we? Nice. Pop back. Nice, get out of here, big boy. He's still all pinging up, so we're going to give him a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Ping that up, nice. Why do birds suddenly disappear? Can this guy just die already? Freeze. 
blasted. <laughs> Lovely. Won't be guarding nothing no more, will you? Stop. What's all this about? Lady Kutching, these two strange people suddenly appeared. They seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? <laughs> we were just looking for a way to the Jade Chamber, that's all. You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? The number one geezer. We're invited guests here to look for the Lyra Qixing. Who are you? Uh. Uh. <laughs> well, as it happens, I am one of the Liyue Qixing. Oh! I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Qixing. Oh, really? I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Well, we got a little bit sidetracked, you know what I mean? Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhung Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. <laughs> so, this was all a misunderstanding? Baimon never would have thought. But we were the ones that repaired it in just a night. Think it isn't that hard, Paimon. Anyway, <laughs> for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Even to the Chising. <coughs> Pyman, <coughs> don't go, get the matter. Uh, <coughs> oh, right. Yeah. So, Lady Yuhang, might you have any idea why Lady Tian Tran invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. That's understandable, we can have a little look. Sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Oh. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. That's very true. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly hmm. civilized of them. Any chance you could talk her out of them? Would prefer to negotiate, wouldn't she? Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. Oh. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> Another super bold statement. <sighs> I kind of like her. Here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> you should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. We don't know how to get the there. The cream of Li Yue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Oh yeah, the two primo Either. gems. Paimon, that's not the point. Paimon, Paimon, that's not the point. But, but, wait, that's right. Greeting gifts are a staple of Li Yue's culture. We need to get one. Not to curry favor or anything, just to respect Liu's culture. Or you could do, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what should right, we get? All right, You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. Oh, here we go, lovely. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. 
Go back to Liyua Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuahai Pavilion, and... Well then, may we meet again, Traveler? What? Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. Hey, hey, Paimon, we climbed a mountain for no reason. We could have just went, gone to Liwei Harbor. She made a good impression on me too. She did. I agree with some of her views. Mm, both of them are good. I'm going to go with this so, one. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? You've really shifted focus, haven't you, Paimon? Oh, right. Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night. Sugar frosted slime. <laughs> Of course Paimon she did. has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Mingguang. Yeah, yeah, Why yeah, sure, we Paimon. That for a gift? Sure, do you have a recipe, Paimon? Are you not going to steal some? Nope, but Paimon's sure that we just need to make it with some boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches. Let's go make some food, shall we? <laughs> What's going on, boy? Boom! Don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. You love it. Oh, there you go. You're chilling. Hello? Hey there! A guy called Mung Dan told us that we could get a nice and shiny box from your store. Uncle Mung already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. Here, this container is itself an antique, with at least 140 years of history. It's already been cleaned. Wow. Will it do? Y yes, let's yep, love yep, it. Yep, yep, great. yep, yep. Hang on a moment. Can we borrow one other thing? Wow. Sure. Please help yourselves. <laughs> As long as it's on our shelves. Oh my God. Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. <laughs> it's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now, into the box it goes and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh, yes. You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations, too. Woohoo! It looks beautiful! That is nice. Paimon is just taking everything. She's like, yeah, I'll take your biggest bass. I'll take your one of these. I'll take one of these as well. I'm still not sold on this I gift Great. idea. Now that we've put all that we've got into this box, let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Mingguang. But yes, we're not paying for anything, so it's fine. We can go along with this idea. If she doesn't like it, then I can just throw it in her face and it'll be fine. Because it was absolutely free. Look for the guide to the uh, Jade Chamber. Well, I will go about that, shall we? Yeah. I like your cut, G. Let's keep moving, shall we? Here I'm moving up. Hold on, this ain't the place. Ace, come to see you. According to Kuching, this is what we should say. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? Moon? Yes. How many would you like? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes. Speaking of which, are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuhung. What's going on here? Mm, bamboozling, isn't it? Yes. All right, I'll take your trampoline. I'll take it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, what? <laughs> Ooh, the plot thickens, chat. I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joyen Karst. Okay. <gasps> it's Ningguang. Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, for me. You have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. Nice place. Mm, yes, uh, it's my first time coming up to a place this high. No, nice place you got here. <laughs> I'm glad you like it too. 
This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. Wow. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianjuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, what? it was but the size of one room. Oh, really? And now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. Really? You you want something that big? Can you handle that? Hmm. Not right. many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting Grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius, who spoke highly of you. Oh, well, thank you. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. Oh, have you? What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wangshu Inn. Yeah, a little sus boys uh, kind of thing Wait, in as well. Was Virgil Det one of your people? <laughs> Just Virgil Det? No. Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. <laughs> what? We also ran into Yu Heng not long ago. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Wow. Uh, She's had you eyes on her. peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You wow. two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Mm. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. Well, well alright, we'll take your side, we'll see what's going on. The sky is the limit. I need, uh, primo gems, please. That's all I need. Should we uh, take a nice little photo for the books? Uh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, you, you know that pretty guard I met the other night, yeah. Yeah, I managed to catch a photo of him. Look, look, look. Gina be talking about this guard later on. There we go. Right. Let's get back to business and let's speak. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Uh, rings a little bit of a bell. Many gods used to walk this earth. And many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. Whoa. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the seven. Oh, and that's why there's the seven Goyun icons. You can see stone forest from here, I trust. Oh, wow. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days. Gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Oh, that's so Not cool. Not only is it true that gods what? may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? Oh, that's so cool. When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Yeah, but so how does someone Even rise up? in a new era, the Liyue Chi-Sing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? Hmm. Why hide then? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. Yeah, gaze But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back, to play the spider while our foes scurry about. But who's this enemy you're talking about? It's gotta be the bird, innit? What do you think, Traveler? It's him. It's him, isn't it? <laughs> what are you two talking about? It's gotta be child. Well answered. 
Uh, huh? Huh. <sighs> the scenery out here is fine indeed. But the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within are complete. So please, this way. Okay, let's go. Let's make our way. Why well, I either think it's child or because he's working with Signora, isn't he? As well. Wowee! What a huge hall! Paimon's never seen such a fancy place before. Oh wow. Imagine having an ass like this. Like really. What would you do with something this big? I couldn't live in it. I'd be like, no, sorry. Wow. This is actually incredible. Be at ease, you two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. Can we really? I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Oh. Naturally. Is that what I think it is? Oh, Why, it is. You've kept your ear to the ground, I see. Oh my god, That's there it is! Even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, traveler? You're hmm. rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. Are we? Are if we self-aware? I'd like to have your trust. But mm. if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching... Um... <laughs> you cut well both between your orthodoxy and her... Oh... Um... <laughs> Why'd she put me on... I'm going to have to go with the top one. I'm just going to have to go with the top one. <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? Nah, I had a feeling. I don't I really know I the both of you very well, did I? Hard-headed. With someone of her character on the Chising, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Chising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, Ooh. I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us, but for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. That's true, I surmise that the Faturi has a hand in these rumors. Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. I called for the gag order and for the exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation. Well, that does make and sense. And also in order to, to prevent do that. something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. Oh, you heard about with that? With Rex Ooh. Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. Hmm. <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided the venue for the rite so they could use us for their own ends. Yeah. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Oh no, Paimon, what are you going to say? Of course. <laughs> Paimon's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. <laughs> So, does that include us? <laughs> Seriously, Pam? Seriously? <laughs> it's all right. I like direct people. Are you gonna get that from well, Paimon? we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. <laughs> How about this? You can pick any one object here as you please. Really? And you may take it with you. Oh, lovely. Yay! Paimon was just waiting for you to say that. Let's... What should we get? Oh no, what's Paimon gonna <gasps> grab? One of the sheets on that wall! Really? R out of everything you could have grabbed? Don't look at Paimon like that! One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail! Just imagine, 
How much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for? Would she let you even take that, though? Let's grab one. The biggest one. Really? Oh, no way. Oh, we're going to be rich then. Huh? Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there in the most obvious spot. Let's go with that one. Well, no, read them first, because the biggest is not always the best one, is it? La, 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 la. Let's see what's written on it. Huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. <gasps> oh, could it be oh. treasure? <laughs> Whatever it is, it better make us filthy rich. Let's see what's written over here. Sigil of permission, something, something, fatui, research, copy. The sigil huh? of permission? Aw, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. Oh yeah, the sigil of permissions are very important. This piece of paper shows that a cheesing spy discovered traces of classified Fatui research on the sigil of permission. Oh. oh, Ningguang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading rumors, wanting to get their hands on the Archon's body and whatnot. But research on the sigil of permission? Paimon wonders what they're up to. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the Sigil of Permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. Yeah, but Child was the one that gave us the sig uh, Sigil of Permission to uh, begin with. It's all unfolding a little too perfectly. Oh, you really think so? Yes. Well, should we not go then? No, I, oh, what so I mean you're is. I'm saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. 100%. You can't mm. trust no one. Sus. That's Everyone way out is of sus. Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Obviously, because she's going to give you food. Anyway, we'll see if you're onto something. You're oh, just. Before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. Okay, let's go do that then, Paimon, shall we? As you just want to uh, rob everything in this place. <laughs> oh, 30 primos. Mm, yes. Uh, yoink. Uh, yes. Perhaps these are just. Click a few words. Okay. Uh, uh, Operation Rob Everything. 900 meters. Okay. That isn't actually too far. I'll take that. There are so many talismans here. It looks and like they're... stacks of blank paper, too. Looks like they're copying the pattern on the talisman. I haven't seen this pattern before. But where? Oh, Paimon knows. It looks just like the sigil of permission the child gave you. Hmm. But how did a relic of the adept die end up in the hands of someone like Child? It's just no oh, relic. Oh, that's right. Cloud Retainer said that when the Lord of Geo created the Sigil of Permission, it wasn't to be used as some old relic. Talismans like that were once used in the Archon War to channel divine powers. Maybe the Fatui are copying the Sigil of Permission in hopes of achieving a similar effect. Being able to channel divine power in battle? Whew, Ooh. that sounds pretty dangerous. So the Faturi might be experimenting with this divine power and doing something. Seems the Faturi are definitely up to something. Maybe this paper is only a snippet of a much bigger plan. And the plot thickens. <laughs> we we'll need to yes. keep an eye on child, that's for sure. Yeah, we know he's sus anyway. That's enough sticking around here. We gotta go meet up with Zhang Li soon. Yeah, yeah. The last sure. stop on our right of parting preparations tour is Dihua Marsh. Let's go. Paimon hates being late. All right, we're not gonna be late. Let's get on with it then, shall we? Let's go see Geo Daddy at the Ma. Zhang Li, my boy. Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? I did indeed. It was so big and pretty and expensive. Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? What did you talk about with her? She's super rich and so generous. Oh, Paimon thinks she's very friendly. Business people are always friendly when it suits their interest. You couldn't say that any better. Yeah, his take 
Kika Ningguang is quite different from Paimon. <laughs> he thinks <laughs> that even the tactless Yu Hung is more trustworthy than her. Oh, so you also met with Kuching then? What did she have to say? She was pretty open she with her thing. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu and Chi Sing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? <laughs> No respect for the divine. Indeed, contrary to the Everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart, though they are both members of the Qixing. Although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Yes, she is highly ambitious. She's both of them, but I'm going to say she's highly yes, intelligent. She has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tianquan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. Well, obviously not. The Jade Chamber is only second? What's the most important thing to her then? Ooh. Why, Mora, of course. Oh, of course. Well, that makes sense. No surprise there. <laughs> talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. And now they're trying to reproduce the sigil of permission that because it grants them power. Hmm. No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always. Always be on your guard. Yes. So, is there anything we need to get for the rite of parting in Diwa Marsh? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. Oh, I think I've got loads of them. Lilies. But why did we come all the way out here? Doesn't the garden in Yujing Terrace have some? Even Chingsa Village has glaze lilies. Oh, right. Paima remembers that Madame Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. No. Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They oh. won't do it all. Have these Iquan have been... Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded, turning it into the marsh Whoa. you see now. Nearly all the glaze lilies were wiped out. This Archon course, War must have been there crazy, there are some huh? kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glaze lilies may still be found in the wild. Wild oh. glaze lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. Oh, and that's why we got but the everlasting incense. I'll need your incense. assistance in gathering these flowers. You mean you need me to pick them like you wanted me to spend my own mora on no, getting the items as I well? I need you to sing to them. Excuse me? Singing to the flowers will make them more fragrant. All right. Uh, Let's do this then. So how good is your singing? I can hold a tune. Don't you worry. I'm a pro. Step back. Really? Yep, yep. Why doesn't Paimon believe you? The audacity we'll coming from you. once he starts singing. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Get ready. Swarm up the voice, shall we, chat? <laughs> Warm it up, chat. I don't hear you warming it up. All right. A what? No, I was going to sing to it. Time to sing whenever you're ready. That's not singing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These flowers are jumping. What? Look really angry. What? Is this because you sing a song so Oh, no, these are so hard. These are actually so hard to kill. Not free from the actually so hard to kill. These are annoying. These are actually one of the most annoying characters that I face in this game. Oh, I'm getting dicked. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. Where's that bubble? Where's that bubble? I need to stay in this bubble. Stop trying to kill me, you... Play me the arse. Freeze. 
Oh, there you go. Now you're with the elements. Now you're with it. Oh, so sorry. Right, get out of the water. Did I just kill it? Oh, it drowned. <laughs> we drowned the flower. Grace lilies wouldn't hit people. The flowers did put up quite a fight. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Oh, really? Hmm. Strange. These petals look interesting. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Ooh. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't be well, able to get the other one. that's nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? Unfortunately, no. Oh, that's so lame. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh. Are you searching for glaze lilies? Oh, Only is here as well. Yes. Really, yes. God, you. Hello, we don't. Traveler. I'm surprised you still remember my name. I remember. Uh, You're a badass that character. That reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? It was very well, but thank you. But it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. <laughs> nope. We found the way on our own. It isn't a secret, so perhaps you just assumed we knew. Oh, I see. Uh oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. Huh. Something seems a little off about Ganyu. What She's is it? acting different from the first time we met. Where's her serious attitude now? Ah, oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. But now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Whenever oh. my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. Oh. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But really? five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. So there's already five that's already gone before Rex Lapis. So there's only one left then. And that's Venti, isn't it? So yes. that means... Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains yeah, of the geez. first seven. Wow. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden in Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Oh, really? Other than the current seven Archons, the youngest of the Sumer's gods of Dendro is merely 5,000 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was then 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. I don't know why that's kind of glitched there. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. What? The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this? Farewell. Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an Adeptus, I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Oh. Huh? Did you just say, as an Adeptus? Yes, I... I am a mix of human and Chilean. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. Really? I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. What is After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. Wow. Oh, I didn't even notice the horns there. I didn't even notice that. Wow, everyone's so old. Well, uh, let's save that conversation for another day. You say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. Oh, <laughs> we dare not refuse it. Thank you so much. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed. I did. 
I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Leo a ballad to it. Oh, can we hear it? Wow, so you really know your stuff, too. Thanks, Ganyu. Ganyu no, is a it really is you awesome who character. I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Oh, man. Good luck. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. Oh, lovely. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks in more ways than one. Yes. The rite of passing has been a work in progress for a while. Zhongli, you seem suited to be working in a referee. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning oh. a new undertaking is always difficult at first and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Wow. See? Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. All right. I think it's about time we head back to Leo at Harbor now. That was so cool. Like, the amount of lore that we just got, like, dropped on us. With the whole Archons and everything like that. Oh, that is amazing. And Ganyu being that old as well. And there only being the one Archon left being Venti is incredible. What oh. happened? The city gate is swarming with Lilith and... The Vitui? Oh. This atmosphere is highly abnormal. It seems as though something big has happened. We should ask around a little. Just to be safe. Okay. Gaze, speak to me. What's going on? Ah, you're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhongli, I presume. The Millilith are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Desperate times? The Adepti Why? of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti outside the city. Okay. However, both sides were quite obstinate and hit an impasse. It seems inevitable, given the current situation. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Qixing. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. Wow. Surely the Liyue and Qixing are not the sort to give in so easily. <laughs> this is going to be They're a full-out attack. And this is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of conflict. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Ah, <sighs> that's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> That's the Qixing for you. Anyway, Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. Or well, he's not going to do That's anything out of rest. are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. Y yeah, they are. <laughs> is there anything we can do? We can't just stand by and watch. Do you watch. intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? I can do. Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? Oh, no, wait. Do we actually Either get the choice? path is an easy one. Ooh. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli, we've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all this. Really? They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gates. What? Things are taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Consider oh, your next course of action carefully, Traveler. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, it may be wisest to look for the fuse first. <sighs> I like that Having quote, huh? Having with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. So what does Yangli mean by looking for the fuse? You know, Mr. More Money Than Sense, <laughs> that ginger guy. Okay, we can't say child because the Fatui are around and they know and they have ears. The ginger guy, I think, is referring to child once again. They're all referring to child. 
But we can't say, obviously, the top one. I'm going to go with the, you know, Mr. More Money Than oh, Sense. Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole city turned upside down, it's definitely him. <laughs> we can't say he the ginger guy because they might the know that. When no one is watching to do something really bad. They might know well, his nickname. Where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? Follow me. There's only one place he would go. Well, wouldn't it be the bank that he was at? Let's go and investigate, shall we? Oh, yeah. Go to the golden ass. The golden ass we shall go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is a place of royalty, isn't it? Oh, this is incredible. Oh, man. No way. Is this child... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is a domain. Your pursuit of the truth brings you to the very heart of the political storm that has been slowly brewing in Leeway Harbor. It is time to peer beyond the glittering gold and see what lurks in the shadows. Let's do this, shall we? Look at that team. Fish, bash, bosh. Let's go mess them up. Wow. This is the golden house? Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> Look at this place. It looked impressive enough from the outside, but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside? And so full of Mora. The place is literally this full of money. To that Mora is minted, right? In that case, maybe they won't notice if a few Mora go no. missing. <laughs> Paimon! <laughs> Paimon! She just reminds me of like a pirate. <laughs> Touch a single Mora and oh, we're done so it's for. A trap! Tricky, tricky. So this is where this Paimon's is made. Got you here. But even if we can't take any, we can still have a closer look, right? You can or do if you want it, it'll probably smell. Take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> oh my. Feels like something's amiss here. We better check oh, on right. that first. Back to business. Yes, yes, it's Paimon. Quiet. Too quiet. Surely someone's gotta be guarding something as important as the Exuvia. Huh? Look! What happened here? Oh, um, he's just taking a nap. He's just on break. All the guards do it normally here. Yeah. Uh, he's been knocked unconscious. Uh-oh. Paimon smells trouble. No, he's Quick, just sleeping. We have to go make sure that the Exuvia is all right. Whoa. So the Exuvia... Oh. Whoa. Yeah, that thing don't look right, honestly. That's Rex Lapis's body, isn't it? Oh, gee, You've okay. You've already fulfilled your task as guides. So why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? That's Child. That's Child. Child? <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross. And you're in my way. Uh, what do you mean in your way? Hello? No gingers allowed? Did you not see the sign on the door where it said no gingers? Uh, how did you find out it was here? Looks like I was just in time then, huh? <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location. Don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? Uh, no. <laughs> Stopping the more immense. Hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> I told you the we were sus. really pulling out all the stops this time. I I, so I you called been it. Planning to take the gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? Huh. As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers, it's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. Oh, don't, let me guess. Let me guess. You are not getting any <laughs> close to I'm this. I'm asking for your blessing. And there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. Are you sure about the that? The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. So they want to be taking the power the from each... Oh, come on in. Battle. Yeah, come on in. So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? 
<laughs> you could say that. Bring it on. When Signora offended the Signora. deities outside the Woo! cathedral in Mondstadt, she swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. She did indeed, Instead but she is a bane. Instead of you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? When she wow. faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. Oh no, we got another we Jojo. What happened in Monster ever happen again? Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't kill you, Traveler. I'll just play along to feel the thrill of battle. Really? Yeah, he thinks he's the Jojo. You could never defeat me, not even in your wildest dreams. Oh. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway, because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? Well, looks like we've got a fight on our hands then, huh? Oh well, time to put my good thong on and let's do this, shall we? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. It's a nice fight. Fighting talk, I love it. Coming in. Now let's see you live up to it. Oh, it's gonna be good. But it's gonna be good. Alright, he's probably gonna be a fire because he's this got chance is hard level to come five. By, <laughs> so show me all you've level. got. Oh, whoa, whoa, so whoa don't get me wet straight away. To square off with the oh, hold so up. Oh, now, hold on, no, hold on. And don't you dare disappoint. Stop getting me wet. Alright, now message day up. Message day up. Message day up. Oh my, hello, you're getting Any done. This is it. How this is the end of you. Oh my god, look at his health just diminishing. Possible weapon. Hold on, go hold up, calm it, calm it. Take him with a headshot, nice, good damage. Watch out for his water. Honestly, I would, I would have fought you more as a uh, fire starter. Really? Oh. oh, my health, my health, my health. Oh, oh. Hello? Why has he got a wire in it? Okay, swap. Oh, Gene's so close. So close to the old to help my team out. Come on, there you go, there you go. Oh, that, oh, what an easy bow. What an easy bow. Good. No wonder Senora was so wary of you. Well, that just means I can go all out. Brace yourself. This is about to get tough. Oh no, he's now, just changed. Show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. Oh my god! No, why do your marble stage it? This ain't allowed! <laughs> Barely a scratch! Gene, you're gonna have to do some more damage, Gene! Oh my! Don't die! Oh, yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Look at his help! Yes, that's what I need! A little bit more of that in my life! How do I do, how do I deal with that? Get to him, get to him, get to him, finish him off, finish him off, finish him off. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Boba, Boba, come on, finish him. <laughs> we come out victorious. <laughs> not bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. You're not Darth Maul, put it away. That's about as far as you'll get. What? <laughs> oh, oh, we got a full action battle scene. What? Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. You were just playing us close to the Exodia. What was that? Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. Oh, whoa, should whoa. Expected. He's actually going to succeed well, in his plan. Taking Morax's gnosis now. So that's two gnosis that they've got of the seven. Oh, you're just... <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You... You beat me to it, didn't you? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Get down the dip. Whoa, this geezer is a nutter. 
Walt, no, 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 what? Okay, I'm gonna dip. Oh, oh, I'm gonna dip. This is going to cost you. No, 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 I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh, what? Oh, I've got to fight him. No, I've got to actually fight him. Oh, no, I've got to fight him. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, no. Uh, uh, game, game, game. Where, where's my player's health? You got to the gnosis ahead of me. No, Damn no, wh where's my player's health? Did you simply move faster? Or yeah, I'm nimble as a fish. The golden house to me on purpose. I, I'm nimble as a fish. No matter. Hand the gnosis over now. <laughs> I haven't got no healing items. I come in here with no healing items. I didn't know that I would be coming into a boss battle. Yes, Gene. Yes, Gene. Dodge this. Come on, Blue Gene. Show me what you got, Blue Gene. There it is. Heal, 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 heal. Everyone heal. Everyone heal. Everyone heal. Yes. Jean coming out clutch, blue jean, blue jean. My no, jean, I don't need you dead. I don't need you dead. I'm not done. No, 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 no. Do I have anything? Do I have anything? I have nothing. I need. <laughs> I haven't got that. No. I haven't got nothing. Okay, restore stamina. Why not? Let's increase the crit. Let's do that. Defense, we can put that up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We have no food. Okay, blue jean is now my only hope. If I can get... No, no, don't die. Don't die. If I have any chance in order to do anything. It is with blue jean. We're not dying today. <laughs> we clutched it up. Oh my god. Child, that's how you do it. No healing on. <laughs> that's it. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh. Child's back to normal again. <sighs> well then, time to cool off. That must have been the situation of uh, the permission. The transformation was too great for my body. <laughs> I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis. 
no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you. We didn't take it. So this my Your opinion show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? Uh, which is strong. Which is the f <laughs> bro Gabriel? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's how we move because I'm collecting the powers of the seven elements because I'm gradually restoring my former power. Oh yeah, because we're original um, Archon, aren't we? I'm still shaken from that. Gee. <laughs> oh my. You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. This is Jojo. Are you sure that's not the normal way to make friends? <laughs> Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Unless this Given was that all the Gnosis oh. wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. Yeah, maybe this was in a plan fact, to just lure you it out. It might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. There you go, yeah, just what? to bring you out. So you mean that... Rex Lapis is still alive? But no, they were trying to bring you out to see who was in Leeway Harbor that might have actually caused the murder. Because if you wanted to get the uh, thing from him... Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. As <laughs> such, we must now look to our backup plan. Not you know at the same time. I had hoped it would never come to this, for the weak will be swept away in the process. The truth is, the world belongs to those who pursue strength. I seldom willingly involve myself with the weak. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. What? A god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the Geo Archon in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon's stone spears ever since. No, no, you don't want to be doing that. If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liu Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago. How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. What? Hey, those are sigils of permission. Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. I saw your research. On oh, my own eyes, you've been trying to duplicate them. Well, yeah, because the sigil permission also grants power as well. That's how he was able to transform. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon spears for a time should be no obstacle. Wow. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. Every bad guy ever just makes, he just talks about his plan and what he's going to be doing. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Big boy, no, big boy. Go to sleep. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. <laughs> wow. The cinematics what? are getting more and more awesome, aren't they? He's already gone. That guy is fast. Uh, oh, wow. What's going on? 
Wow. Holy crap. I can't just leave it on that, surely. No, 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 no. You can't blues balls me like that. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Paimon's exhausted. Ooh. If we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. Wow. <gasps> Did we make it in time? Is the Overlord of the Vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leila yet, has it? Well, no, you can see it in front of us. Look. What? are you doing here? Hey, no way! Huh? Hold on! It's the Adept guy! What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Paimon thought you were arguing with the chi -Sing. Is the fighting over? Now they have now Faced come together. With a calamity of such magnitude. Yeah, there you go. We have agreed to put our differences aside for now, and unite against this common enemy. Oh yeah, I was about to say, they're just gonna <laughs> unite. Oh, Paimon Wow, look at this! So how do you plan to defend Leela? Eh, just see Overlord of the Vortex guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy, even from all the way out here. Wow, it's wow. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. Yeah, I don't blame him. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyue Harbor. All right, all so right. the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? Now that's scary. <sighs> so will the power of the Chi-Sing, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. What? But all of you are supposed to be the Guardians of Lilith! Could you think of something? Are they just gonna let Lee wait? They could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. But Zhongli got us to fix that, <laughs> so we knew this was going to be happening. from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that what? god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't wow. a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. No way, no way. Am I, am I, am I going to be a part of the battle? Yep. Whoa! <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, look at this. The cutscenes for this game is incredible. So they each man in one of the ballistas. There's the Fatui trying to jump in, the boys. The Fatui! They're attacking the Glacial Ballista! <laughs> oh, it's gone, you're gonna be oh, she's gonna kick some ass. We're gonna see her in action. Oh, this is so epic! Is this me? Am I jumping into this? The three Adepti are manning the Guizhong Ballista. Do not let the Fatui destroy oh, their no, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, with me. Level four. Let's okay, these two. boys are quite strong. The I am going to have to start have ascending. To God in All right, let's do this. Let's do it big let and let's do it hard. What you're made of then. What strength remains within you? Oh, what you're about to see. Do Don't you worry. Blue Jean, you come out clutch. You. Woo! She come out clutch indeed. All right, one of the boys to deal with. What's he doing? No, 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 keys, keys, come here, come here, come here. Is he gonna be frozen? Oh no, 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 no! It's the boys. 
Okay, while we're dealing with that, we can hit them with this. They are wet in this situation. Oh, it makes that a lot easier for me. Thank you so much. Nice. Oh, we could just hit him off the edge. I don't remember to use that with G. Freeze him again. Oh, lovely moves. Lovely moves. Oh, yeah. Take my power and Oh, no, he's imbued me as well. No way. So they've gave him they've given me all their powers. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> What a quest. That one doesn't seem too bad, so I'm going to have to try and concentrate and try and do these ones. Is there any more? Is that it? Nice one, boys. Giant, you are strong. No, I can't. Oh, I really want to take Perhaps a photo. You can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. All right, let's do this then. Let's this kick it up a beat, shall we? Oh, my. <laughs> once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. Yep. Yeah, I'm adapting, all right. You can see I'm fully adapting into this. Oh, love, you have no hope. You have no hope. How's the others looking? Let's go over to the other side, shall we? Oh, so sorry. Cool it. <laughs> I'm so powerful. I'm so strong. You can be me because I'm strong. Is this what it feels like to be a whale in the game? Is this what it feels like? Because I, I, I feel so OP at the moment. Oh my god. <laughs> this is what it feels like. Exercise caution. I fear that the god's power has reached its peak. No, 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 never, never. Words, if we hold here, there's nothing worse to come, right? Never. Wow. <laughs> Man. Got you coming in? Oh. <laughs> the interlopers are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. Oh, this is so anime. This is so anime. I was about to say, there's no way they got, they got rid of the god that quick. Uh-oh. 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 Now he's going to fire back with his own little bit of medicine. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 Be careful now. Jeez. The Guishan Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. No way they're going to destroy the Jade Chamber. Another idea. What? <gasps> what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. Wow. What is the meaning of this? Really? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Oh, this yeah, is well, so friend. badass. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. Holy. Oh. <laughs> Just like that? <laughs> I can see why people love the story for Genshin. Wow. Is it finally over? This really reminds me of like Final Fantasy XIV is the other game that I play. And the way that it does like like a slow build-up. 
Oh. And then it gives you that reward at the end. Like, that was just huge. After collecting, like, flowers and stuff like that, to then finally have, like, this big moment? Wow. The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the Sigil of Permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chain. Yeah, that's quite a sacrifice At she first, made, but she knew. It was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Chi Sing. Why are we getting uh, Seeing just the a Jade boob Chamber shot. destroyed <laughs> in the defense of Liu means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Indeed. Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Wow. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time immovable as stone just as it was thousands of years before this is truly no small feat oh no but that does not mean that the liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land instead focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it are you questioning our means of protecting liyue? <laughs> yes we are <sighs> I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. Ooh, this Flower morning, is going to some sass. Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Oh, wow. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang! We're on the same side. Yet oh, yeah. another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? When there is discord between the Guardians and those who meant to defend it. Harmony becomes very difficult to restore. Right! That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the Four Winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both and that nothing good would come of it. This is what we learn from the City of Freedom. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti, we've become a laughing stock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, 
a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. Oh. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. <laughs> Why does everyone oh. look so down? <laughs> didn't we just beat that big monster? We did it, did <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Everyone was there. Oh. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and tasty snacks and, and loads of things that make the harbor so pretty. Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please come visit us for the next Lantern Rite. Lantern Rite? Oh, what's Unfortunately, that? we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. Oh. It must be hard being an Adeptus. You see, this is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection, but it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed, now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harbor. Cloud Retainer's got some sass. <laughs> Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. Then listen to what the people have said. Let us return now. Eager to leave, Conqueror of Demons. Ooh, I like that title. <laughs> yes, one understands what the Conqueror of Demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue, you humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. That's Fair true. Enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. <laughs> e, what a quest. <laughs> Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. That's just you can have to be some trust. <laughs> All right, Moon Carver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All swear yeah. ends well, huh? You, you, can, you can say that for now. Oh, right. It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. Yeah, but Rex but Lapis we ended up luring him out. The overlord of the Vortex on our own. So Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death too? We do indeed. Hell yes, the right. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus right of parting that we're organizing? No idea where Zhang Li's going. Let's ask for him at Wang Shen Funeral Parlor. Yeah, I was about to say, he's at the funeral parlor. That's the last time that we heard of him. I'm afraid that Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. We've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. You call this cooperation between Harbingers? Cooperation involves communication, no, you know. No, 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 no. Gaze, gaze, I saw. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. 
Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? Those Zhong Li is working sure with. You must have enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Hey, it's Zhang Li and Child. And you, you're also one of the Harbingers? Number one bay. Ignore. <laughs> it's you two. Look at that. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. But why, why is Zhong Li working with the... the well, two? if it isn't you two, this is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit... Awkward, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Oh, no! Oh, now don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> tussle? You call that a Nothing tussle? personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them for leading me on. Ignore and Zhang Li. So actually, I think. Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind, the Gnosis, please. Agreement? What in the world are you talking about? <sighs> the contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. For my promise is solid as stone. What promise did you make? Uh, Zhongli, Geo Daddy? Is that yours? How <sighs> sanctimonious. So Zhongli is actually rep. La oh. What? So you're the Lord of Chio? No, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the Gnosis to the Fatui? Yeah, why are you letting them build I it up like this in Infinity? Free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract, for it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. I'm afraid I don't understand. What? What? Why did you put all oh, the? Yeah, I'll ask this. Yeah, I'd rather ask a question. A little bit too far with that whole fake death thing. Everyone was preparing the ceremony for you, and splat! This big dragon falls out of the sky, and all of Lyric goes into an uproar. Talk about a disaster. What? Why? What contract <laughs> has he got though? There's so Gathering many questions that I have. All the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes, and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Wait, what? Perhaps it's best that I explain. So Zhong Li wanted As to see know, if Li Wei would able to protect themselves this world for without more than him. 6,000 years. It is now 3,700 years ago that I founded Liu together with the Adepti. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form, and that the end of my time had not yet come, until one drizzly day, as I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, you finished your duties, go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, have I already finished my duties? But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. Oh, he wants to retire. So he wants to step down. He's had enough. And gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liu are chasing to play their roles together wow. on the stage that was Liu. 
So you were satisfied with the finale. Let me guess you had another plan in case it all burned down. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. So you mean that if the Chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Leeway back under And he control? would know that Leeway were not of ready course, for him to be departed. And it would have been all too easy for him too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Leo matured when faced with the death of its deity. In the end, the resolution to all that has transpired was even more satisfactory than I could have hoped for. Wow. Take the Adepti, for instance. Owing to their years of seclusion, they were the least informed. Yet when faced with a crisis, they commendably showed the greatest amount of restraint possible. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Chising, but in the end, they even made efforts to understand the hearts of the people. Wow. Credit is also due to Signora, the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. At my request, she kept everything she knew in strict confidence. This despite the eavesdropping ears of her colleague, Child. This uh. meant I could remain as Zhongli. Even having the chance to fulfill the age-old traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for joining me on this journey, Traveler. Are they still All are the bad guys? All of these things turned out as I had planned. There is only one thing that I had not anticipated. And that was the conduct of the Liu Qixing. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti. To come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done... They seized the opportunity to supplant Leo as divine protectors and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Leo. Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! Ha! <laughs> On the contrary. I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? You've practically kept me in the dark! Oh, no, we don't care about you, child. Shut up! <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, Adepti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geoarchon, Liu would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? We were both are you equally for a fight? Be that as it may, you've come out of this as the hero of Liu. I, on the other hand, will be forever prescribed as a disturber of the peace, no? <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapolyarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Saritza. Come, child. The Saritza. Ah, okay. fine. All right, I'm I'll trying to understand all the stuff that's I'm going on here. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. <laughs> Do as you wish. So she might be like an anti-hero. Now then, is there anything else you wish to ask me? I would like to know what the Cryo Archon offered you. Right! As Zhang Li always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a Gnosis. Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. Huh? Well, yeah, However, there's only one in each of the god archons. of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made countless contracts. If the deal was of no benefit, then I certainly would not be inclined to agree to it. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. Wow. My contract to end all contracts. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, Uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. Oh, thanks. Blue balls in me with dialogue. Wow. Leave the Northland Bay. So they are the... 
Child and Signora are the bad guys. Zhongli literally just big brained everything, like Snow is saying. In the fact that he wanted to see if Li Wei was ready and prepared for when their Archon Sass Rex Lapis actually left, it would be a thing. Today's the day of the rite of parting. Although oh, no the way. star of the show is fake, we spent so much time trying to organize it, it would be a real shame not to go there now. Hello, Giza, what do you got for us? Hear ye all the Chi Sing's words. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. So too must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Liu to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Uh, um, Daimon needs a translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. They said that Rex Lapis died because of a divine trial. <sighs> so that's how they're spinning it. Yep. Something feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention how this excuse sounds like something they just made up on the spot. Most probably. <laughs> Did she seem already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? But Zhang Li said that neither they nor the Adepti knew anything. Hmm. Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his gnosis changed hands? That's possible. I think we've still hit the bullseye this time. Exactly, right? Ooh. Seems like the Rite of Parting has been going on for a while now. Let's go have a look. Oh yeah. Let's go see each other, shall we? Go to the site of the Rite of Passing. Look, it's Ningguang and Kuching. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. 3,700 years of contracts burnt and reduced to ash. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking Oh no, it's her. <laughs> oh no, mm. no, no, no. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So Zhongli, one so of the Archons. So concludes the words of Her Eminence, the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? They'll be working in the shadows. Is she looking this way? Traveler. Hello? Yikes! She really is looking our way! <laughs> is that the Traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young! The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. What? Whoa! Whoa! Bye, man. I'll just take some snacks. Oh, no. Get away from me. <laughs> Two meters, please. Um, I don't know. I'll take some food for Paimon. That's all well, I need. could you help me put up some missing person posters? What? Missing? Talk to the people taking part in the right. I'm gonna have to talk to this. <laughs> and to think I'd put my best perfume on before coming here, thinking you'd like it. Oh no! <laughs> but it seems as if those perfumes really were meant to be offered to Rex Lapis. Yes, they were. Well, that's fine. Suffer no rivals in love, they say. And that's three gone in one stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! He has a voice! That's cool that our main 
Uh, character has a voice. Look for Zhongli at the scene. Would he be at the scene? Oh, he is. Oh, sorry, I'm wet. It's normal when around Zhongli. Zhongli? Hey, Zhongli. Look at this. Everyone in Liu is caught up in their emotions, thinking that they'll never see Rex Lapis shush, again. Shush, shush, Paimo, shush. Here you are looking all relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I not feel more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years? Woo! Right. If the two of you can spare the time, I should treat you to a meal at the Shinya kiosk. Ha! Of course. That sounds like big talk, Zhongli. Paima might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout. But you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Chinue Kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? Oh! <laughs> mm. You're right. Mm. I do lack the Mora. You've been this way the entire time. But why would you lack Mora? Morax lacks Mora. Why? But why? why would Morax lack Mora? As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But what? since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, oh, wow. I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. When I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So, you made a so I had to rehearse a little for my new life. Oh, no wonder. Paimon gets it now. You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. But since you weren't used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite to society who lives off of other people's credit. Well, we were only spending for two You don't have to say yeah, it like that. Yeah, Parmon coming In out the with city just of the Commerce, set. We do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge, memories, and foresight, as well as positions, roles, and lives. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank you for that. Anytime. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli, traveling the streets of Liyue with you. It was a good journey. It was a fine journey. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue our search for the Seven. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. Oh? Oh, who's the god who ru ruled Imazuma? The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. W what's her name? Um, Paimon thinks we've heard that one before. Uh, Raiden? Oh yeah, the Raiden. Sh Raiden? <laughs> that is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of Inazuma, oh, hell people call yeah. her the Raiden Shogun. Yep, yep, we're trying to roll for her, but we haven't got her yet. That said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Oh, how, how'd Surely, you know that, Paimon? Since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Really? Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. Oh? This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tevat see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Vision Hunt Decree? Killing people that yes. have all visions? It was an order to seize uh -huh. all visions within Inazuma's borders 
and to inlay them upon the hands of the statue of the omnipresent god. Oh, you wow. want to seize visions? But why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Whoa, that's harsh. Imazuma the sounds Archon cool. is the god of freedom, and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. Ooh. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. Knowing her, she must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods. And of these, eternity is nearest unto the heavenly principles. This is so cool, the amount of lore and stuff that we're getting. Oh my heaven. Right then. Was there anything else you wish to know? Yes, 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 yes we do. So about the trial. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Failing a divine trial. How they came up with that excuse, I will never know. <laughs> that said, <laughs> the reason why the Chi Sing were so eager to resolve the incident and stop pursuing the culprit was indeed because they received news in secret that Rex Lapis was not dead. Ah. I hinted as much to the Adepti as well. How did I accomplish that, you ask? Hmm. Uh, have you ever heard of this particularly convenient Adepti art known as gifting dreams and visions? All right, no. then. Was there anything else you wish to know? What about a child? Yeah, about that. Before the Cheesing made their announcement, we listened to a lot of people talking on the way. Most of them put the blame for everything on child. These are indeed false accusations. But it remains undeniably true that Child did send people to the Jade Chamber to prevent the Adepti and the Chi Sing from defeating the ancient god. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign relations front at the moment, browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. Ha! <sighs> Those poor Snezhnayan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, I'm certain that they would have shifted all the blame to him and called for his dismissal by now. Ooh, that's, all right, that's huge. Was there anything else you wish to know? The Lue X. Let's... The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu Chising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? Kuching is absolutely right in saying this. Now, though I did laud Ningguang's desire for power, believing this to be a good thing, and thought as a matter of course that she must have been behind the Chi Sing's plan to take governing power over Liu from the hands of the gods and Adepti. Ooh. Could the original person who brought up the idea of seizing power have been... Hmm. All right, then. Was there anything else you now, wish to Now, about the Mora, this is the uh, biggest question. That's right. Zhang Li, now that you don't have your gnosis, what's going to happen to all the more into that? Since Morax is dead, are they all just gonna disappear? Also, isn't the Golden House the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even continue to work? The Mora present now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period of time. Wow. Since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. <laughs> this is terrible. We're all about so this to run is... out of Mora. Oh, I was about to we say this is gonna to collapse yes. the economy. This is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. Uh, well, I suppose we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Leo Achising <laughs> to debate. <laughs> he don't care. He's did, just off. Did you? He must have done. Oh, a private fund. Hmm. This does seem like a good logical common sense idea. Surely you must have done. <sighs> it's a shame. What's a shame? It's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. <laughs> what? You do big right, to get a then. bank or Was a there vault. Anything else you no, wish there to is know. nothing else. Tell them. 
I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. Yes, we will see what happens, you dumbass, for not making Mora when you can make it. To be continued. A new star approaches. Oh, yes.